Hello YouTube, RJ. Well, in a previous video, I was working on toroid inductors and testing them in our thermal test cell. And I want to do a follow-up video on that. There's some additional things I want to try to get some data from. And one of those things was I wanted to dope my coals with uh, what you call Q-dope or coal dope. Um, the brand from GC Electronics was called Q-dope. And so I wanted to dope some, but I didn't have any. So I went out and I know that you could make your own, but I went out and I didn't have a nice little bottle with a brush. So I went out and I found this online and ordered it from eBay. I paid like $10 for this and it came in nice little bottle, nice little brush in it. Um, but when I got it, I immediately realized something wasn't right because Q-Dope should be like a translucent milky color and it should be the consistency of about like honey. And what I ended up with, what was in the bottle was this mess, which as you can see is absolutely not thick like honey. It's thinner than water. It's black. It's not milky and opaque. Um, it's, it's went bad. So what it is, is you've got people selling this and it turns out they haven't been making this in a long, long time. So this has been sitting around somewhere going bad. So that was disappointing. That was a waste of $10. So I decided that I would make my own. It's not hard to make, but you know, it does contain nasty stuff. So you definitely want to get some gloves on. So we're going to make up some right now. You want to get some gloves on and there's probably a number of solvents you can use. The original used MEK, methyl ethyl ketone. And uh, that's what I'm going to use. Uh, there's people that say you can use different ones. I have tried it with acetone. It didn't work well. It didn't work well at all. The stuff doesn't really melt into the solvent. It turns to almost a, a, a plastic goo. You could kind of use it. It's just not right. So anyway, what you need is you need some polystyrene. It can be white packing peanuts. I wouldn't use colored ones, just white. Or in this case, I've just some packing out of a, a box from Amazon. We got them. I, I broke up. I've got a lot more of it, but it takes a lot more than you think. The packing peanuts, it takes a lot because they're mainly air. This more dense polystyrene, eh, it doesn't take quite as much, but it takes more than you think. So anyway, it's a it's very simple. All you're doing is melting polystyrene with a solvent to end up with a polystyrene glue suspended in a solvent. So we're going to use methyl alpha ketone. Uh, this is nasty stuff. If it, I understand that uh, I, I've, I've seen where other people use methyl alpha ketone re replacements or alternative, they call it. Apparently that works okay too. I've not done it. This is the real stuff. This is what the original Q-Dope was made with. So the first thing is you don't need much, okay? This is dangerous. Don't get it in your eyes. It will blind you. It take all the precautions that it tells you to. Uh, that's why I'm using some gloves. I got some paper towels down. I'm going to put very little in there. We're going to start out just a tad bit. And then what you're going to see is it dissolves this stuff almost violently. You can see it just dissolving right in there. It will just eat that up. And so literally the process of making this is just continue to put polystyrene in, continue to eat it up until it starts forming a, the, 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 as the uh, mech becomes, you can see it starting to get milky. You're going to keep doing it until it becomes like honey. And that's when you're going to say, okay, that's it. If you go too far, put a little bit more mech in and just keep adjusting to get the amount you want and, you know, and it gets to be that honey viscosity, okay? You can speed it up a little by splashing around. Just don't splash it out in your eye. It is, you know, mech is nothing to play with. Um, I've, I've done composite airplanes, uh, you know, full-size airplanes for years, and I used mech and working with the fiberglass epoxies, the vinyl esters that I worked with, and I can tell you it's nothing to play around with. It'll, uh, it can blind you, it will eat your eye up, It'll eat your eye up just like this stuff. So just be very careful. I recommend wearing some safety glasses. I've got my glasses on in case of a little splash, but 
Um, but as you can see, it's, it's dissolving, and I hope it's coming through on the camera here. I'll get it up real close. See how the, the mech is becoming milky, translucent, milky looking? It's going to get even whiter. Um, it'll still be somewhat translucent, but it's going to be even whiter. So I'm just going to continue to drop in and melt this stuff. And uh, I'll come back in a minute. Once I have a couple of minutes, once I've got this. The fumes are pretty bad for mech too. Recommend doing this outside or with some ventilation. I'm probably going to turn my ventilation exhaust fan on here uh, in just a second. Um, but the noise is it's quite noisy, so I don't want you to have to listen to that. So I'll come back in a minute. Okay, we're back. Now it's a number of hours later. Um, you can hopefully, let me see if I can get it in a good shot here. You can hopefully see that it's, uh, this is very viscous. This is like honey. Uh, it's milky, kind of translucent, milky white. Uh, I made a little more than I started out to. I got going and decided to add some more uh, mech in there. I had plenty, of, a lot of stero, uh, um, polystyrene laying around. So I went ahead and made up more so that I could fill this little bottle up and then still have some because I want to try dipping. I, th I think actually if you can have it in a wide mouth, you have enough, um, you could dip your coal and pull it up and let it, let it kind of drip off and apply it very quickly as opposed to painting it on with a brush. So I want to give that a try. So I decided since I had the material to go ahead and make quite a bit up. But as you can see, that's what it turns out to look like. Um, Get up here where the camera can really see it's it's just a uh, it just melts down over time into that now when you first get enough polystyrene in there and it, it melts down it'll start getting viscous but you'll have little bits floating around it don't worry about that as, unless you've got some contaminants in your polystyrene you're okay uh like i said this is a couple hours later what i did is I, I kept feeding it in took quite a bit you'd be surprised how much it takes to, to actually get the get the thickness to this point but once it got there i had lots of little bits of material floating around in it you could you could slash it on the, up up on the side of the jar and back and you could see it stuck there but i just let it sit for about an hour and a half and it it finally dissolved all of it into this very clear no material in it so that's it this is your Q-Dope. You're ready to start using it. I'm going to put some of it in my bottle. I'm going to keep the rest in this mason jar. And uh, that's how you make uh, Q-Dope for yourself. So you'll see me uh, with some doped coals testing later as a follow-up to our coal test. And uh, so thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helped you out. Learn something that might be useful for yourself.